When children with a trauma history display bad behavior, we must hold tight to the principle that we need to connect before we correct. This is the model that Jesus gives us in 1 John 14 through 17 as the one who came from the Father, full of first grace and then truth. It's a difficult principle to live out, but leading with grace and then following with truth will make all the difference in the lives of children from hard places. These children are often stuck in chronic fear. Grace speaks safety to the fear brain that dominates children from hard places. It's only after calming fear that truth can be heard and understood by important parts of the brain, parts we so deeply want to see function well in our children. As we connect before we correct by leading with grace, let's take a look at what connecting responses can look like in comparison to disconnecting responses. When we connect, we acknowledge that our children may be using behavior to get a need met rather than their voice. It looks like you're feeling angry. We consider that our children may be in a dysregulated fear state. Can you tell me what you were feeling when you did that? We use our calm state to help regulate a child. Let's sit here together, and after you feel calm, we can talk about what happened. When we use a disconnecting response, we expect our children to regulate themselves without our help. You can come back to me after you're in control. We shame our children's identity with the behavior, you are such a liar. We isolate our children from us. Go to your room. Connecting responses, they gain us a child's heart. And when we have a child's heart, we are in a position to best address their behavior. Remember, first, grace, then truth. It's a principle for our children's healing, and unless we lead with grace, truth will never find fertile soil in our child's heart.